Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to make a floor plan in Excel. Uh, if you want to make a very complicated floor plan, uh, probably something like a, a, a graph, a more graphic program, uh, PowerPoint or Adobe Illustrator or even a more advanced architectural program is what you want. But if you want to make a quick sketch, uh, Excel is actually a pretty useful tool to just make a, a simple outline uh, with the main features of, of, a, of a floor plan. So I've got a, a spreadsheet open, just a, a brand new blank spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the border formatting uh, capability of the Excel cells to do this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go in and, um, and make a rectangular grid. So to do that, first um, select all the cells in the whole spreadsheet. And to do that, just go up to the left of, the, of column A label and just above the label for row one and click there and you can see all the cells now turn blue which means all of the cells in the spreadsheet are selected. So then what you do is first we want to select the width of the cells. So go, move your cursor between columns A and B and click on it and we're just going to go until we get a width of one inch. Let's just imagine we're making a floor plan of one inch per foot. So there we go. And because we had all the cells selected, all of the columns changed at once when we changed the width of the column. And then we're going to go do the same thing for the rows. And don't click anywhere in the, sp in the spreadsheet itself yet because that will unselect it. But what you want to do is now go between rows 1 and 2 until your cursor changes to a, a horizontal line like that. And click on that and we'll just go down until we get a height of 1 inch. So we just keep going and... There we go. There's one inch. So there we go. We have a nice rectangular grid. Um, now it's kind of, now we, we can now click in the spreadsheet. And um, I'm actually going to reduce the size, reduce the um, enlargement of the display on the screen here so that we can see a bigger grid. So I'm going to go from 100% to 50%. Um, and now we can start uh, creating the main shape of the floor plan. Um, now, I like to leave row 1 and column A blank because I don't want the borders of the thing I'm creating to be up against the, the headers and the, on, the, on the top and on the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a shape and let's just say we want to make a, a, a building that's 20 feet long and 10 feet wide. So click on cell B1 and look in this area up here. Let me just enlarge it again so you can see this area here um, tells the cell range that's being selected. So watch that cell there as I scroll back out and that's going to tell us how long and how wide the selected area is. So I click on cell B2, hold the mouse button down, go to the right until you can see it says 1R by 8C. We're going to go until we see 12C, that which means we're going to have 12 columns which is going to be our 20 foot long structure and then continuing to hold the mouse button down scroll down until we have 10 rows. So there we have it 10 rows by 20 columns let go of the mouse button and we have a 20 by 10 area selected then go into um, and it may look different on your computer but find a place where um, you have borders. Click on this button here and uh, very simply we're just going to draw the outside outline so just click on outside borders and it'll make a box around the whole selection. Uh, you can't see it yet because it's still selected but if we just click anywhere outside of the border or really anywhere at all it will unselect that area and you can see there's our 10 by 20 box. So that's our simple shape. Now we want to make it a little more interesting. So let's just imagine that we want to have a little inset, a little recess in the building at the top right here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll start by selecting this cell at the top right and let's say we want a recess that's two feet wide by five feet long. So once again looking over in this cell here um, or this uh, you know this little piece here that tells you what your cell range is watch that until it says two rows by five columns. And we now have that selected and now we want to basically remove the border that was on the top and the border on the right and replace it with a border on the left and one on the bottom which will make a recess. So to do that we go back to the border tool here and we click on and it's easiest just to go to this thing called border options. 
and that brings up a new menu and you want to look for this area here where it, there's a little diagram and I'm just going to scroll in so you can see what I'm talking about. This is saying that the area selected right now has a border on the top and a border on the right. Now you could also have a border in the middle but we don't want that. The middle left and right or the middle top and bottom. What we want is we want a border on the left side of the selected region and one on the bottom of the selected region. So just go in the rough area and it will is very accommodating. It will know what you want to do and click those two and then we want to go where the top border is and unselect that. So click on that and go to the right border and unselect that. Then as I scroll out here, then when that's all done, now your, our little uh, diagram is different here. We say OK and we go back and we unselect that area and look at that. We now have that, the inset, the, the, the recess in our building. And let's say we want a, a recess on the other side so that we have a symmetric, maybe this is going to be a, a main entryway of the house. And uh, we select that. I know it's not a very big house, but um, anyway, we select that area and we go back to our border tool and go to border options. And we do the same thing, only, um, only a little bit differently. We're going to unselect the border on the right and the bottom, select the border on the left and the top, say OK, click somewhere off of the border, and there we have it. And then finally, let's say we want another little entryway over here. Maybe this is the, you know, the entryway by our driveway or garage or something out here. We select a little 2 by 3 area, go, out, go to our border option tool, and you can see that it, it's um, the only one selected right now is the top. That's the one we want to delete, and we want to select the left, the bottom, and the right, and say OK, and click somewhere else, and there we have it. And then, um, so I think you're getting the idea by now. This, this method doesn't have any capability of making diagonal lines. Uh, you could, I suppose, you could, you could put in a little text here. So let's just say this is, this is yeah, Ted's house. And it's a very small text, so we want to make it a lot bigger because it just barely shows up. There we go. And um, then the last thing I like to do is um, the grid line is useful when we're making, the, making it. And when you print it out, the grid line won't show. Um, but I'd like to see what it looks like without the grid line on the screen. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Excel, Preferences. On the Macintosh, it's Preferences. On, the, on a Windows machine, it would be the Options menu. And you want to look for something called View, and you want to unselect grid lines. And that means that you just, while you're working on Excel, you don't see the grid lines. Um, then you can print this out, and you'll have a nice sketch of the, uh, of the building you're going to build. So I hope this is useful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to make a floor plan with Excel. Thank you for watching.